Hey, uh, we're heading back to Tokyo today because I've got some unfinished business. Yes, but we have a little bit of time before our flight, so we're gonna explore. Let's go! So we're heading back to Tokyo today, but first I want to visit a Shinto shrine for a little bit of prayer. So we're here at the Kushida Jinja Shrine, which is dedicated to the Amaterasu and Suzano, Suzanu, which are Naruto words. So I had to check it out. I think that's pretty cool. Whoa. So here's a little lucky shrine where you can ring this bell right here. Whoa, put your money in and pray. Look after my family and thank you for sushi. It's a really nice shrine here, very peaceful also very old and there's even a thousand year old ginkgo tree that uh, covers this shrine which is amazing. I think you guys should check it out if you have some time. He has seen some things, some real crazy things. You can also grab a written oracle here for a a donation, a small donation. It comes in English as well, as long as Japanese, Korean, Taiwanese, and Chinese. Let's take one to see my luck. Yes. Here's my fortune slip in English. It's usually always in Japanese, so you gotta get it translated. So I'm surprised there's the English subtitle version. Let's see how my year is going to be in 2020. Oh, number 18, that's my... That's my lucky number. Whoa. And it also says lucky. Like flowers blooming out of season. Travel, travel, there's one for travel. Travel will have good fortune if you go with a close friend. Every time. <laughs> marriage. <laughs> there's one for marriage, it says know your place. Really? <laughs> yeah, what does that mean? What does that mean? Know your place. Employment, your wish will be fulfilled in the near future. Let's hope for that. Fortune, do not become conceited when you act upon impulse. You will come to regret it later. Okay. And yeah, all good stuff. Everything is pretty positive for 2020. I'm very happy. I will keep this one. You don't need to put this one on those uh, shrines where you wrap it up because it's good. You keep this close to your heart. So this is my fortune slip. Let's see what I got. Lucky! Lucky number seven. Like an eagle entering the mountains. Fortune, be as humble as possible. Do not act in an aggressive manner. Wish, someone will stand in your way. Exercise caution. Travel. Wait, did it tell you to exercise? <laughs> so for travel, I got Better to cancel, though you will not encounter misfortunes. <laughs> Better to cancel. Better to cancel, but you won't run into anything bad. That's interesting. Business. Good for purchases, not for sales. Illness. <laughs> Don't worry about that, that's what she does. <laughs> not good. Choose a doctor and never cease to have faith. Are you sure this is lucky? <laughs> Marriage. You will be outraged by someone unexpectedly, unexpectedly obstructing you. <laughs> you will be outraged by someone unexpectedly obstructing you. That means some girl is gonna come to our life try to steal me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Employment. Nice. A career change will bring misfortune. So keep traveling and keep eating. Okay. Awesome. I'll keep eating. Yay.
You can also buy these at the temple, write a little message on it, stick it on this wall, and hope for really good stuff. This one says, uh, something good, maybe. We're gonna try out Hakata Udon. I heard that Hakata is the birthplace of Udon. So I'm really excited to try it out. We are here at Mayake Udon and we're gonna see what their Udon tastes like. Yes, I love the way he made it. It came out of a cauldron of deliciousness. Here's the udon with a bit of tempura on top. You got spring onions, very quick to make, very easy, and looks delicious. Let's try it. So the difference with Hakata udon and normal udon is that the strand of noodles are more soft and squishy. And look how big they are. They're very thick. Mm. It's so squishy, it's like you're eating mochi udon. That's delicious. <laughs> Tempura has melted into that soup and noodles. Oh my god. <laughs> These strands of noodle are so big. Oh my god, look how fragile that was. You can cut it with chopsticks very easily. Look at that. That's incredible. I'm gonna get a bit of string onion. A bit of the delicious Yoshinoya peppers. <laughs> this is perfect for a cold rainy day in Fukuoka. Oh my god. Yeah, good flavors. Very tasty, but the highlight are the noodle strands. They're just so thick and chewy. So after five minutes of waiting, you can see that Udon has turned into almost like a congee like texture. That was some pretty good udon. Light, fluffy, very clean, perfect for breakfast. It was not bad. Yes, it was 400 yen for one bowl. It's really simple. And I really enjoyed it. I think that you should try it out if you've never tried Hakata Udon because I really like the texture of the noodles. Hakata Udon. Yeah. If I'm gonna give something a nine out of 10 rating, it is this Family Mart maple and butter French toast. It is incredible. Make sure you guys try it out if you're in Japan. This one's a bit stale. Oh, really? <laughs> it's 8.2. <laughs> if I was to give something a 9.5 out of 10. Ah! He's a bunny. Honestly, this is the best thing ever. It's pretty damn good. It's so good, so cheap. And it's fun to eat because it stretches. I'll show you guys. So we're at Haneda Airport, ready for lunch. And we're gonna eat here at Gourmet 24, which is a vending machine restaurant. How cool is that, babe? Incredible. Haneda, no, Japan in general 
have vending machines for everything. It's amazing. So here it is, a whole bunch of them located right here. You have one for hot and cold drinks. Over here, oh, this one looks really good. 24 hour hot menu. You got croquettes, chips, onigiri, even takoyaki for 370 yen. That's pretty awesome. You've got, oh yeah, you guys seen this one, a family mart vending machine. A whole bunch of delicious foods there too. And after your meal, you can have some dessert. Hagen das, an ice cream sandwich. What's this one? Oh, bigger wingu. I love this. Just a fruit drink. And the last one is a cute water bottle from Disney, Winnie the Pooh, stuff like that. Cool. Let's try some. It's lunch time. We're gonna get some takoyaki for 370 yen. Put them coins in. Ooh, so I've cool. Really crazy. <laughs> and I can't believe I'm getting it through a vending machine. Yeah, that's the best way to eat it. <laughs> and this is located at Terminal 2 at Haneda Airport. Alright, oh, so it takes about two minutes. Gives you a countdown. And while we do that, we can. What else do we get? Oh, thank you for the change, Japanese lady. I know there's a Japanese grandma in there. You can't, you can't fool me. So the selection's not that big, but there are a few of these located in Haneda Airport. You can even find the Family Mart vending machines anywhere. Uh, apple juice. Apple juice, all right, get some apple juice. We're just snacking now before we head to our hotel in Nezu, Tokyo. All right, let's see how this works. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, that's really cool. Similar to the Family Mart vending machine. Drops it in. Yay. Easy, easy. <laughs> Next up, we'll get this onigiri and karage, which is chicken. And you would never find something like this in Australia. A vending machine only has snacks and drinks in Australia. Maybe a biscuit or a muesli bar, but that's the best thing you can get. No meals. Oh, is it out yet? All right, so it comes in that packaging. Is it hot? Be careful. Just wait for it, wait for it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you got it? Beautiful. There you go. So you got this microwavable takoyaki that comes in a really cool box. It is steaming hot. There's a big line here now, so we're just gonna have our takoyaki and apple juice first. Uh, let's open this up. Ooh, it's hot. Smells very interesting. All right. There you go, you got some very flat, Half takoyaki. Oh my god, that looks so funny. Looks so funny. <laughs> so you got toothpick and seaweed powder in there. And you got some sauce. Not the most appealing takoyaki I've seen. <laughs> that was really funny. It's flat, it's soggy. Oh, okay. It's kind of like microwaving uh, meat pie. Mm. You're gonna get that soggy texture. And here we got some apple juice, 100% from Sunkist. Ooh, Sunkist, I know that. Orange soda. All right, putting that seaweed powder on top. I mean, this is pretty convenient, although I don't see, besides the vending machine restaurant appeal to it, I don't see why anyone would come here when there's so much better food next door. I know the airport is huge and there's so much better options to choose from when it comes to cuisine and foods but uh i guess you're going for the gimmick of the vending machine restaurant life i mean it's cool it's fun it's interesting let's see how it tastes takoyaki from a vending machine restaurant let's try it mm. okay. that's very chewy it tastes like really rubbery batter there is a octopus piece in it, which I'm surprised about. The flavors are still there. The sauce is really good. Seaweed's nice. Just the texture kind of tastes like if you had a takoyaki, put it in the fridge, you microwaved it, and you ate it the next day. <laughs> okay, Melinda's turn. My first takoyaki is true. <laughs> <laughs> and she's doing it right. Step aside, Osaka takoyaki. Haneda Airport is where it's at. How do you feel? It makes you confused. It's like if you had 
bad Japanese food in Australia. That's what it tastes like. It's not the best. Okay. Yeah, it's fun, but it's fun though. The experience is fun. The food, not so fun. I mean, it still tastes like <laughs> a takoyaki, but just a really bad takoyaki. Yeah. Not, not really bad, but not good. Mm. All right, let's try one more. We're gonna have the rice ball and karage. And then I think that's enough. <laughs> I wanna eat better food. <laughs> and not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> Tastes like I'm eating a rubber ball. Time for some real food. Rice ball and karage. <laughs> I don't know what to expect from this. This one takes 110 seconds. Good luck, Japanese grandma living inside that machine. Do your thing. If you want the fun vending machine experience, I highly recommend the Family Mart one. Cheap prices, not necessarily hot food, but you got your sandwiches, onigiri, everything's quite fresh. It's kind of like they just got it from the convenience store, <coughs> stocked it all up, and you're just eating that. It's pretty good. 100% out. Our food is done. Yes. I'm so excited for this one. <laughs> this hot box. <laughs> and not the 420 style, but the food style. Oh yes. Interesting. This one, I feel like is gonna be very tasty. It's gonna blow our minds, guys. This one's gonna be Michelin star worthy, for sure. All right, very cute box. Once again, I'll show you it. Hot menu box. Nice design, Japanese words. Uh, calorie count, not bad. Let's open. Oh yeah, this one looks pretty good. So you get two rice balls, two karage. So it's a perfect for a couple, you know? This could be a really nice date. Hot box, hot date, good times. Interesting. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. The karage looks so cute. I think the rice will be fine. I think the onigiri will be good because you can eat onigiri soggy and hot. Yeah, that's true. It's a darky mask, guys. Mm. Yeah? Oh. Not bad. That's good. And now the karage. That's one of the most crispiest. <laughs> that karage looks so damn crispy. Can it get any crispier than that? These chopsticks are so small oh, as really? well. Yeah. It looks like a soggy nugget that you'll get from a grocery store. Ooh, <laughs> questionable. Oh, I mean, it's not like crispy chicken, but it just tastes like a teriyaki chicken. That's fine. Yeah. And as you guys can see from the background, this place is quite popular. I think even the locals find this really fun and interesting. This one's a lot better than the takoyaki. Yeah, the takoyaki was questionable. It's the first time I felt, you know, a bit wheezy in the stomach eating in Japan. Really? Yeah, my stomach's kind of grumbling right now. Grumbling and rumbling. All right guys, not gonna lie, the takoyaki made my stomach feel kind of strange. It's the first time I've been worried about food poisoning in Japan. But uh, we do this for food science, guys. We do it so you don't have to do it. Or so you can come do it too. Rice. Oh yeah, not bad. Mm. Some good flavors to that. Chicken nugget. Mm. Um. Not bad. By far the best thing here. Yeah, you gonna come here? Look at that. Mm. Or just eat anything else at Haneri Airport, I swear. There's so many better restaurants here. <laughs> and that was the vending machine restaurant in Haneda. It was uh, very interesting. Some foods were questionable. Other foods were <laughs> terrible. <laughs> A lot of fun though, very interesting. If you're okay. staying in Hane at an airport and you've got a few hours to kill, I recommend, you know, might as well check it out. Buy one or two things. Otherwise, don't go out of your way. Don't go from Terminal 2 to Terminal 1 and then try to find the place like we did because it's not worth it. <laughs> this is Terminal 2. Oh. 
Don't kill me. This is shame. Tonight we're staying at Hotel Graffy in Nezu. Let's take a look at our room. Let's check out our room. <laughs> look how yellow this door is. I know. And there's a key. Yeah. Like, we've never really had to ever use a key to open a door. Mm. How strange is that? It's like a hotel slash apartment room. <laughs> Feels like an Airbnb it almost. It does. Alright, let's open oh, up wait. and see what's inside. This is why we don't have keys. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Welcome. Oh my, this is a big space. What the this hell? This is a really big space. I did not expect this at all. What? Oh, they know what's up. Hey, that's a penis. <laughs> <laughs> why don't put your head in here? <laughs> no, that's, I'm sure that's just... Uh, <laughs> Trust me to think that. Anyway, yeah. here's the room. Wow, it is an apartment complex. You got wow. TV. Oh, that is so cool. So wow. it's a mattress on the floor. Softness test. Oh, quite firm this one actually. Cool, interesting. Wow. It's so spacious. It's very I spacious. I didn't expect it to look like this at all. Yeah, it's very big. You wow. Two air cons, one there and one over here. Big TV, table, mirror over here where Delana can get ready and uh, get the makeup did. A whole bunch of cool stuff here too. Oh, and this place is located near Nezu Station. The area itself is close to like Ueno, Ueno. Akihabara. Yes. So we're going to a weave town tomorrow. Yeah. Which is perfect for this I location. I love how there's so much space. Yeah. Our luggages are so big and we need the space. <laughs> we need the space. This is the biggest yeah. place we've stayed at. I'm going to put my luggage here, I'm going to put my luggage here, I'm going to put my luggage there. What's in here? What's in here? Oh, oh wow. Room. Awesome. Hey. <laughs> also, a humidifier. Deep art. Yes, they call me Dabo O Chan. Yes. Also, love how Japan have these hotel refreshers. You spray it on stuff, make it close, smell good, soggy. Oh, smell! <laughs> Whoa! Alright, time for a pillow test. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Open sesame. Ooh. All right. It's actually like an apartment room. Like the um, Yokohama place we stayed last time, but really way, like way it. bigger. I really like it. It's pretty cool. And there's also laundry upstairs. Yes. There's a lounge place downstairs. There's a big mirror here. This is really good. So much space. So much space. Babe. And if you want this, free drinks as well. Oh, free drinks. Oh, free oh, drinks. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And also, there's this to look at. <laughs> oh, this. Oh, there. That's it. Yeah. That's how you feel when I show you this. Let's go this way so I can show you this so you can look like this. And then maybe after a few years, I might give you one of these. Wow. And if you don't, if you're not feeling it, I'm gonna have to give you one of these. That's uh, pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little room tour. We're gonna get our luggage bags before um, someone steals them. Anyway, bye-bye. Oh, Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you at dinner. Oh! All right, let's see what's on TV. Ooh! Where are the English subtitles? How am I? Oh my god, is that Zoids or something? Dope.
Guys, so I found the English dub button and put it on. Todoroki, what do you mean you're out of here? Hi, Mats Mr. Matsumoto. I, yeah. Oh, you are such a beautiful young. Yeah, get out of my face right now before. Oh, so me. I'm clearly the main character, Tashimoto. And I'm gonna show you my gear level. Gear level, fire. Okay, the line is giving me a weird look. I better, I better stop. So we're currently at Ueno having gyukatsu at Gyukatsu Motomura. So here's the menu. There's four items you can choose from. Fried beef cutlets, different sizes with spicy fish eggs, barley rice, and grated yams. <gasps> yes! I'm getting the 260 gram, Delana's getting the 130 gram. Yes, yes, yes. So this is our second time having gyukatsu. The first time was in Asakusa, and that was amazing. So we can't wait to compare Ueno gyukatsu. <laughs> So here's the restaurant layout. Something about Gyukatsu place is always very small, very exclusive, so it must be good, right? Only 12 seats. I want number eight. So here's the restaurant. Very cozy, very small. Smells delicious. So here it is. We only had to wait about 10 minutes outside in the queue and the food arrived immediately. Here you've got that little special grill where you're supposed to cook the meat before you eat. And here is the Gyu Katsu. Oh my lord, guys. With a soup, oh, some rice, and some sides. This looks and smells divine. Oh my lord. Thank you, Nihon Gods. Thank you so much. Alright, guys, it's time to check out these. Oh my god, just touching that oozing fat and delicious oils. Let's take one piece out so I can show you guys. Oh my, oh lord. Guys, look at that. Look at that crisp on the outside and that delicious red beef meat on the inside. We're gonna chuck that on the grill. Just ever so gently. Let it fry really quickly once. Another time. And it's ready to eat. Cheers guys. Oh, mm. beautiful, absolutely beautiful, delicious. This is so much fun, I absolutely love this guys, just grilling meat in front of you, smelling it, tasting it, oh this is what I live for. Man. Now I'm gonna dip it in this sauce. Yes. And because I love you guys, you get a bite. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay. Mm. Mm. It's even better with that sauce. All right, guys, I'm just gonna dig in now. See you guys soon. This is good. And that was a delicious dinner. Gyukatsu, the second time, did not disappoint. I really enjoyed it. Yes, it was so good. Yeah, yeah. Although, personally, I think the store at Asakusa was a lot better. It was more melt in your mouth. Whereas this one, the meat was a bit tougher, but ambience and the staff were a lot nicer. So, yes. yeah, Overall, still pretty good. a really good meal. Definitely worth it. I'd come back any day. Yeah, the line's shorter. Yeah. Uh, it's faster. Service is better. But, you know, if you want to do the but the but to do. Okay, bye. Definitely check it out if you're in Ueno. My favorite beard puffers. I got the eclair with custard cream. So 
delicious! I want another one. Anime store! Yeah! It's Jigglypuff. <laughs> it's Kirby. <laughs> All right, guys, you've been asking me to do this forever, so I'm finally getting Delena a ring <laughs> inside an onigiri. Let's get one. All right, hopefully we get something really good. Like a sushi or a shabu shabu ring. Oh! <laughs> Babe. Will you. <laughs> Will you eat with me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yay! She said yes, guys. She the will eat with me. Only ring I need in my life. Yeah, let me put it on for you. Guys, that's wait, what it looks wait, like. I need to. What is that? Is I that like a to. tuna? Or a salmon? Oh, what are the chances? That's exactly what's happening right now. Here you go. Use your, no, use your right hand. No, your index, yeah. Your, your ring finger. Oh! Ooh. It's so big, I love it. <laughs> Look how big it is. <laughs> I get you the biggest. The biggest sashimi. And it's not even diamond, it's like a special orange kind nice. of ring. That's how I do, guys. There you go. Look, Stop guys. asking me now, guys. It's happened. It's happened, all it's right? It's happened. <laughs> Yay. I love it. Thank you. No worries. I love you. <laughs> there it is, guys. I got her a mentaiko, which is a seasoned cod row. It's called an onigi ring. Onigiri. This is the best thing ever. Guys. It only costs $3. Get yourself one. <laughs> Guys, I found baby Harry. I know he doesn't have a girlfriend, but this is his adopted son, which we have to take home because they've been separated for so long. Hope you guys enjoyed tonight's vlog. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Mm. Remember, guys, take a break. Have a Kit Kat. Mm. Not sponsored. <laughs>